<laughs> I think we need a dog. <laughs> Darren's kissing other people's dogs. He's a spoiled girl. Lots of kisses. This cute face. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Starting out another fabulous day. New South Wales, Australia, heading towards Queensland. And we just had an awesome stay with the Oliver family. Oh my God, they're so welcoming and generous. I mean, all of our hosts have been great in Australia. And the Oliver family just went above and beyond to really make us feel like we were at home and just incredible meals. <laughs> wow, we got really spoiled there. So thank you again, Oliver family. The crazy thing about them is that Graham would just go pick up random cyclists that he saw coming through town and say, hey, do you guys need a place to stay? Uh, why don't you come stay with us? And they were like, who is this guy? All right. <laughs> and then they didn't even know about warm showers because he's an avid cyclist. They both cycle. And yeah, they told him about warm showers and they hopped on the network to make it uh, official, I guess, instead of just plucking people <laughs> off the road generously offering them a place to stay and we were their first warm shower guest so that's super cool and I think it was a success so good stuff good stuff <laughs> this is so bizarre I literally feel like I'm just on a freeway <laughs> oh my god girl 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 what are you doing every day. Huh? Shade is nice. Yeah, shade is nice. I will take the shade. The sun here is so powerful. It's insane. It'll be like a cold day. You get one spot of sunshine, you're like starting to sweat. Oh my goodness. But it is nicely paved and it's a very wide shoulder. So that's nice. So guys, riding on the M1 highway today pretty much all the way to Grafton and while it is a lovely day I'm not feeling my best Whew. got the female flu uh, it's, it's bad sometimes but movement movement can help so just gotta push through it uh, I'd like to do a video about that someday because had a few other female cyclists who haven't really done touring and asked Darren and I about that like how do you deal and we have a few answers to that listen to your body push when you can rest when you absolutely need to yeah more deeds on that in a future video I think but for now just gotta put my head down and get through it and just uh, appreciate the tailwind and uh yeah, sunshine. All right, I'm out for now. I'll give you some more shots later if we come over some beautiful vistas. We're on the map! Brisbane! Brisbane, tally ho! Keep going. Ooh, bananas.
no potable water. I mean, you can buy water, but no like taps there. So, good to know. And yeah, another 20 miles, we'll be in Grafton. So keep it rolling. In the in the park there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. Just getting a little break from the highway. Thought it'd make it more interesting on the on the way into Grafton. We need a fence up there. And that cool road. Yeah, really cool road. Yeah. There's a bunch of sticks over here. Are you locked in with mud? Yeah. <laughs> Darren can't do off road. All right, I'll help you here. to save weight so we buy good peanut butter really good peanut butter and put it in our crappy plastic peanut butter jar I think it's also kind of a mechanism to stop people from stealing good peanut butter when it's on our bike yeah they see sanitarium <laughs> they're like mm, that's they, some bull. Sanitarium. they see sanitarium and they're like no but they see this called sanitarium? really good crunchy it's some giant oh, corporation yeah. that does sanitarium. like 30 different things sanitarium <laughs> all right. that's all i can think about when yeah. i hear that or when i see that is the metallica song all right folks we are heading out of grafton today and looks a little cloudier actually that should be another good day of riding a little bit shorter i think what are we doing 40 miles or something today 45 miles, 45 miles. summerlin way Ooh, that sounds nice it's a b road so we'll be off the highway today so that's nice and yeah feeling better feeling better all around so good stuff i think we are it's getting a little late here we've kind of had a leisurely morning so i think it might be time to uh roll out and see the day all right let's do this Goodbye, you guys. <laughs> All Officer right. Bomb. Officer Bomb. So you got an armpit issue? Armpit issue. Look at the changing leaves. Mm -hmm. It's fall. It's fall. You can kind of see them tucked behind that tree over there. They're like glowing orange. But yeah, it's almost June and it just feels like, yeah, summer. Nope. Nope. This is fall and we're going into winter. So we are on the other side. Other side of the world. Look at all the leaves. <laughs> We're just chasing fall around the world. <laughs> yeah, that's true, because actually when we get back to the States, it's going to be going into fall as well. <laughs> oh, that's funny.
crafting and uh, our campsite tonight. So I think we'll have a little rest there. We're just having some bread and bean bar over here. My granola bar. says do not drink so that's pretty good all right made it to camp Very a nice high. nice spot one of the free one of the few free camps in new south wales there really are not many but uh yeah here we are got a toilet uh, look at this nice logging truck just blasting down the road uh b91 summerlin way is a bit of not as trucky way i make it out to be to be <laughs> people saying it was a nice well, it's supposed to be a tourist drive. Uh, it's more of a logging route. Yeah. Some of the tourist drives have been nice. Some Give us your manufactured, uh, semi-manufactured can't story. Can't remember Summerlin or another tourist drive that's in this. It's either here or the next section north. Okay. And apparently he got away with being a robber for like a while. What kind of robber? Just like um, goods and... Like the gas stations and stuff. Uh, he just pulled uh, up gas stations and he was, he was like an outlaw. <laughs> Guess what year? the 2000s <laughs> what oh my god that was gonna be like 1850 yeah. nah it was nah. just 15 years ago don't worry about it don't worry they're called beef buses beef buses yeah. that's what the name on the side says oh my god what? of course they it are called beef buses boy boy the boy boys are coming to town um yeah beef festival's happening so i think that's also why there's like a ton of just these huge cattle beef buses apparently it's just like a 18, 36 wheeler, 18 wheeler, I don't know, a lot of wheels, big trucks just blasting by. There was a shoulder for a good amount, but not the biggest shoulder. I think the highway was actually nicer, I have to say. What do you think? It was also a nicer day, it's a little gloomy today. Anyway, set up our tent, so I'm gonna set up the hammock and away we go, getting ready for the eve. Tap. We can get clean. How's it going, Dan? How's it going? Good, good washing up. A little sponge bath. Get a good bath in with some baby wipes and some water, or just using your towel and some water. Just wet your washcloth. That's like a more eco way to do it. You could even put a little, a few drops of Dr. Bronner's in there. Just a few, just to. You know, kind of freshen up a little bit. You don't want too much, obviously, then it'd be soapy. And I always just take some water and just wash my face off. I think it's worth it to have a little extra water just to get the grime off your face. But yeah, wet washcloth can do the job quite well. Or baby wipes. That does it too. So those are our rad tips on how to get clean if you don't have a shower. Speaking of which, I have like sunscreen face. Looks like I have a sunscreen beard because I had my sunglasses on, so it was like right here and right here. The zinc stuff works really well, but it does leave a bit of a white film on your face. That means it's protecting you, but it's not really flattering. Oh well. <laughs> it's merged. Oh god, light. There are some tiny birds up here. Oh my god. Mama bird. All right, we're rolling out for the day. It's a it's a sunnier day today, so that's nice. We're still on the B91, the truck truck highway. Looks so nice when there's no uh, trucks around. And you know they gotta do their trucking thing. They gotta ship the goods around. We get that. It's just a little unnerving when they go by. But we got 15 miles to casino. Gonna maybe grab a coffee there. And then another 20, I think, until Lismore. And that's it, it's a short day for us, so maybe get a little bit of work done. And just enjoy, but Caitlin's only with us for another four days. It's crazy, we're almost to Brisbane. Let's try to enjoy the riding. 
much as we can. Don't take it for granted. Out on this beautiful day. Ryan's Road! So that's what we mean by a trucking road. <laughs> Only 12 more kilometers, we're almost there. God, we're getting closer to Queensland. You can feel it. Yeah, how you guys we just want like two miles. I'm like, I gotta pull over and take all my layers yeah. off. <laughs> Woo! Got it. Nice toss. Good toss. Yeah, that's good. Sunscreen. Key. Also, my sleeves. I love my sleeves. These are the best things I've found. They're from... I lost one, but I love them so much that I... I still kept the other one from the Philippines and I wish I had bought like 10 sets of them and I was like oh I'm traveling through Southeast Asia surely I'll find them somewhere else never I never found them again it's like just a thing in the Philippines but they're not I feel like I haven't found this kind it's like a different material oh really yeah it's oh, not these are, like, these are like really spandexy this is like a mix between fabric and spandex I don't know I'm gonna find this fabric maybe I'll make some rad ones wouldn't that be cool if we had like rad sleeves yeah all right, and sunnies. Always gotta have sunnies. Very pale. Casino. Libras. That's our calf. Everybody's on the hemp trend right now. All right, we made it to Casino, and this place looks pretty cool. We're gonna grab a little coffee number two action. Ooh! <laughs> what is this? I think Aaron's gonna be jealous of my. <laughs> yes, if you get an iced coffee in Australia, it means ice cream. Oh, yeah, real espresso. Oh, good. No syrup. It's good. Oh, in the jar. Ooh, is this just good? Try this and say because it's just like coffee, it's not like. Mm -mm. That's nice. It's not like fake. No, that's legit. Oh, I got that. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, we were dreaming of pancakes. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Mm -hmm. talking about pancakes. Mm -hmm. Made it happen. <laughs> yeah, no, they get. I got my pancakes. That was so cute. One of the truck drivers just went by and like beeped his horn all smiley and was like beep, 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 and waving at us. It was so cute. He was like, oh. yeah, he was so excited. Actually, we've had a couple, another other, another person did that today. Truck that went by. A couple. I would say that the drivers here have been really polite, really nice. Yeah, the truck drivers have been really nice to us. Yeah. <laughs> this is a family channel. <laughs> family channel. <laughs> I would say 99% of the drivers here have been very polite and courteous. And we had heard some stuff like, oh, Australian drivers are not nice and yeah, cut you off or ride you real close to the shoulder. Really hasn't been the case. That's been the rarity, just like most places. Nice day.
we're on our way to Byron Bay. Oh my goodness. Byron Bay, it's almost here, crazy. Just heading out of Lismore. Just kind of farming field rides. And in another 30 miles, we'll be at the beach again. Hooray! Fun times. Nice countryside view. exotic bird but it's just a bin chicken as in rubbish bin they're just like trash scavengers they look so exotic though look at them all they're so weird mm -hmm. <laughs> 